Time now, though, to launch the search to find Britain's next swinging, singing sensation, the People's Crooner. Up for grabs is the chance to win a recording contract with Decca Records and the opportunity to record the winning single at the world-famous Abbey Road Studios. Over the coming weeks, you'll get to hear 12 wannabe crooners. Three will be performing for us today. But before we meet them, let's check in with the panel who will decide whether they're good enough to make it to the final. It's our People's Crooner judges. Heading the panel, the man in charge of finding new talent at Decca Records, Tom Lewis. <laughs> Tom, talent doesn't come any newer than this lot. What are you going to be looking for? First and foremost, we want a fantastic voice. Uh, we want someone who um, can make people fall in love once again with these great songs. Uh, we want someone who is not an imitator. We want someone unique. We don't want just a, a Rat Pack imitator. Uh, but the most important thing is we want someone who, when they walk in and when they sing, they light up the room, and that's the sort of intangible magic, mm. the sort of star quality. Let's hope we get it. Next up, the woman who's worked with the likes of Michael Jackson, the Spice Girls, Charlotte Church, and, more recently, Gwyneth Paltrow. Vocal coach to the stars, Cary Grant. <laughs> What kind of voice are you looking for? Mm, I think when it comes to the kind of crooning swing thing, we need timing, f that whole kind of phrasing, having it playing around with the timing, and also the tone of the voice. There has to be that richness, that thing that makes you go, ooh, tingly. Mm. You need that. And a bit of charm. Charm and tingle factor. <laughs> right. so our final judge is the man who is one of the most successful British producers of all time. He's worked with the likes of Kylie, Jason, Banana Rama, Sir Cliff Richard, and Rick Astley. It's Pops Bengali, Pete Waterman. <laughs> Pete, if you could sum up what they need to become a star, rather than just a singer, what would you say it was? Style. It really is. I mean, you know, for me, I grew up with all these songs that are singing with. They've got to make me feel 16 again. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's a tough challenge, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> well, I think, right? <laughs> Make Pete Waterman feel 16 again. <laughs> so we've met our three judges. Now let's go to business. And now it's time to meet our third and final contestant this week. Please welcome Jason Isaac from Newcastle. <laughs> when did you start singing? How old were you? Um, I started singing about 10 years ago. Yeah. So you were very, very young. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was a sax player for quite a while and then. I just started, I just fell into singing actually, accidentally. Well, and that took over from playing sax? That sort of took over, yeah. So, why this particular kind of singing? Um, it's, it's one of my favourite genres, obviously. I love this style because I was brought up with it. Mm. But I was kind of, at the time, I was playing jazz sax and I was, in a, I was just in a, a restaurant and the, the owner kind of said, why, why, why don't you sing a couple of songs? And, he, and I sang Under My Skin, yeah. which is one of my favourites. And, and, and it got and that on just, your skin. It kind of suited me and I loved it and I, I just well, progressed from there. I'll let you take the stand. Thank you. Off you go. <laughs> Performing the Bobby Darren classic, Beyond the Sea, Jason Isaac. Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere watching for me, my lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships that go sailing somewhere beyond the sea she's there watching for me if i could fly like birds on high then straight to her arms i'll go sailing Beyond the shore And we'll kiss Just like before And happy we'll be Beyond the sea And never again I'll go sailing So long So long So long Just 
just a couple of points. <laughs> Tom. Tom. It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> Astonishing. Yeah, it was, you were incredibly watchable. Uh, I think you were very charismatic on, on uh, performing, and I think you've got a, a really lovely voice. Okay. Um, and you made me laugh, and I think that was very entertaining. It was, it was a really entertaining performance. Yeah. So, great, great job. Carrie, it yeah, works Yeah, very good. You can tell you're a real Bobby Darren fan, actually, mm. with the, the humour in there. Um, great tone, solid tone. I can't believe you've only been singing for, was it 10 years? Mm -hmm. You sound like someone who's been singing a lifetime. Uh, my only comment for you would be, I think you need to find your own sound. Mm -hmm. I'd love, I know that will come, but I think you just need to relax into it. That, that would be my challenge for okay. you. Thanks. Pete. My favourite song. <laughs> my favourite singer. And that was superb. Yes. I mean, that was superb. <laughs> and, I think, and I think that comes across because you were a saxophone player mm -hmm. and you understand music. And, and I, I say that, that's the first time I've seen anybody just stand up and throw away a song and it was well within you. And you could laugh and smile. I think he quite liked it. Ladies and gentlemen, right. Jason Isaac. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, now, judges, your decision now uh, as to who takes the first place in the final of the People's Crooner, which is live on the 8th of March. Now, the winner records their winning single at the world-famous Abbey Road Studios. Judges, time for you to go off and deliberate. You've got just ten minutes to decide. Find out who goes through later in the show. But for now, my thanks to Asa, Yvonne and Jason, and to the judges, Tom, Carrie and Pete. <laughs> What a start. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of Monday's AT show. Still to come, award-winning comedian Lee Max here. Time now, though, to reveal who's going through to the final of our new singing competition, The People's Crooner. Up for grabs is a record contract and the chance to record at the world-famous Abbey Road Studios. Earlier, three singers performed in a bid to secure their place. Here's how they did. That's in Georgia. Oh, Georgia mm, No peace, no peace I find Can I just have one more dance with you, my love? Can I just make some more romance with you, my love? Somewhere Beyond the sea, she's there watching for me. If I could fly like birds on high. Oh, what a tough call. Please welcome back our three crooners Asa Murphy from Liverpool, Yvonne Evans from Northampton, and Jason Isaac from Newcastle. Well, our three judges, Tom, Carrie and Pete, have been deliberating backstage. How tough has it been, guys? Very tough. It's been really tough. Mm. Yeah, three good contestants there. Good. Be good. Blown away, actually, yeah. I have to say. <laughs> so was Live I. singing, you know, for television, live singing, you know, people scour the country with tens of thousands of people. Well, You've just given us three amazing people. Come to this show, you get your money's worth. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. Asa Murphy from Liverpool. You sang Georgia On My Mind. Yvonne Evans from Northampton, you performed Moondance. And Jason Isaac from Newcastle, you chose Beyond the Sea. Only one of you can go through to the final of the People's Crooner. At stake, the chance to win that recording contract and record the world-famous Abbey Road Studios. Tom, will you please hand me the envelope? Thank you. The person going through to the final is... Jason. Well done. Are you pleased? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Tom, why Jason? I think it was just, I mean, I, I want to stress that actually there are thousands of entries for this and everyone so far has been fantastic and it's a real credit to you all. Um, but there was one voice that really stood out and actually just hearing it back again then is just a really rich, 
very strong voice, so really well done. Well done to you. you. Well, if you at home think that you have what it takes to become a crooner and follow in the footsteps of some of the greats, Frank Sinatra, Shirley Bassey, Michael Bublé, then we want to hear from you. To enter, send us one song, just one, sung by you. It can be a CD, DVD, VHS, MP3 file, or even a USB stick. You'll need to be 18 or over and include a recent photograph of yourself. Write to us at the Alan Titchmarsh Show, People's Crooner, P.O. Box 64382, London EC2P2GJ, or email your details and MP3 to alan at itv.com. We can't return your submissions, and the full terms and conditions are on our website, itv.com forward slash alan. Closing date for entries, Tuesday the 3rd of February, so you haven't got long. Good luck, and you could be right here in the next few weeks. My thanks to all our crooners today, particularly the winner of today's seat, Jason Isaac, and, of course, to the judges, Tom, Carrie and Pete. And well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. What a way to start a competition, goodness me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the king of the swingers, Alan Titchmarsh. Fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. It's perfect for flying mid-moon, they say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly. If you have any idea how scared I was then, you, well, you don't really. Welcome to a very special AT show. That's it, I'm not doing any more. Tonight, the search to find Britain's next swinging, singing sensation. It's not me, it's the People's Crooner. It reaches its climax tonight. In less than an hour, one of these will be crowned your winner. My lover stands on golden sand. Call me. My love, when you're ready, we can sell the wine. Pluck the lady tonight. Decide who wins the recorded contract and the chance to record at the world famous Abbey Road Studios. On hand to help you decide is this lot. <laughs> Our three people's crooner judges record boss Tom Lewis, vocal coach Carrie Grant, and pop Svengali Pete Waterman. Tonight the pressure's on. And this time, our four finalists will be performing with our big band, the Royal Air Force Squadroners. <laughs> The crewness take the stage in a few moments and you get the chance to vote when all four have performed. Now, to the climax of our search to find Britain's next swinging singing sensation, the People's Crooner. Up for grabs, the chance to win a recording contract with Decca Records and the opportunity to record the winning single at the world-famous Abbey Road Studios. Plus, they also get to lift the coveted People's Crooner trophy. Here it is. Tonight, you'll hear all four finalists, and you can then vote for your winner. But before we meet them, let's check in with the panel who have no power themselves tonight, but will give you helping out to decide. Our people's crew and judges heading the panel, the man in charge of finding new talent at Decca Records, Tom Lewis. <laughs> So, Tom, it's, it's tricky, this. What are you looking for in your winner? Very simply, we're looking for star quality. We're looking for someone who can stand in front of this big band and make an incredible sound, command the stage, and we're looking for someone who can make people back at home pick up the phone and vote, because they make feel the performance is so good. And star quality. Next up, the woman whose vocal coach, the Spice Girls, Charlotte Church, and more recently, Gwyneth Paltrow, Cary Grant. <laughs> So, two lots of words of advice here, Carrie. Firstly, for the people who are voting at home, what should they be looking for? They should be looking for the finished article now. We've got to have someone whose record you actually want to buy or download. So that's, you know, if you're going to pick up the phone, be prepared to buy it. And the advice to our four performers, what are they going to be trying to get at over? At this stage, they've just got to be themselves. Be yourselves, do your best. Our final judge, 
The man who's one of the most successful British producers of all time. He's worked with the likes of Kylie, Jason, Banana Rama, Sir Cliff Richard and Rick Astley. And this year, he's helping the UK in our bid to win Eurovision. Bob Svengali, Pete Waterman. <laughs> Words to the finalists, Pete. What do you want to see? Well, it's tough tonight. I mean, this is the big one, isn't it? Um, we're going to assume playing with a live band, it's a whole different ballpark to singing their karaoke But part. it should lift them as much. It should do. It should, but it doesn't always. Oh, we shall see. So we've met our three judges. Time now, though, to let the music do the talking. Please welcome the winner of Heat 1, Jason Isaacs from Newcastle. <laughs> Jason, great to see you. Well, did you get comments on your performance in the first heat? What was the feedback that you got? From from home from, or from home? From home? Yeah. Oh, everyone was was overjoyed really because so they're all rooting got through for the final. Had some lovely comments from from everybody. How many of us are you tonight? Hmm. <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> do you uh, do you see this now? Because I mean, you've you've got a fair amount of experience in doing it. But what difference will winning this competition make to you? I think it's just a fantastic opportunity to. Uh, I've, I'm, I've sang locally. Um, just a great opportunity to sing, sing nationally. Get out further. Yeah. But you love this kind of music. I love the music. I, I love the big band sound as well. It's well, I'll just say now. I said to Pete, but surely that'll lift them. I said, can do. Might not. You know, what's your view on with a big band rather than with a backing track? Oh, it's a, it's a whole different. It's completely different. It's, it's fantastic with a band. Yeah. It's a yeah. bit of va va voom behind. Va va voom. Yeah. See how you do with the va va voom <laughs> behind you. Your microphone's over uh -huh. there. Grab your mic. There we are. Off you go then. Over there, singing the Frank Sinatra classic. Lady is a tramp, Jason Isaacs. <laughs> She gets too hungry for dinner at eight. She loves the theater, but never goes late. She never bothers with those people that she'd hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. She loves that cool, that free, fresh wind in her hair. Life without care. She's broke, but it's so It's California, it's cold and it's damp That's why the lady is a tramp Doesn't like dice games with barons or earls Won't go to Harlem in no ermine and pearls Won't dish the dirt Rest of those girls That's why the lady is a tramp She loves that cool That free fresh wind in her hair Life without care She's broke, but it's so It's California It's cold, it's damp That's why the lady That's why the lady that's why the lady is a tramp. Well, well done. Yeah. 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 Just, um, just show me those leg moves again. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Tom, what do you think? I think Jason, I think you've... You're actually, I, I love you. I think you're brilliant. I don't love you in a sort of. I love you in a sort of. <laughs> in, in a caring sort yeah, um, of. Keep digging. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I think you're great. I think you've got the star quality, and I find you incredibly entertaining to watch, and I love your moves, and I, I think you're, you're brilliant. Thank you very much. Right song, do you think? Good yes, choice of song? Completely the right song, because it, it was all about the big band and just having yeah. swagger in front of the big band, and I think it was a really good choice. Oh, he's swaggered. Carrie, what a polished performance. Yeah, I mean, you're so confident, and I'd say confident times ten compared with how you were in your heat. So that was just so good to see. Really charming, warm, confident, good vocals, swinging with the band, and you were actually enjoying it. I was, And yeah. we were enjoying watching you enjoy it. It's great. Thank Pete, you. an example there, then, of the band certainly improving a performance, I would have thought. Yeah, because Jason was a saxophone player, if I remember. But, and you could tell, I mean, he just understands music. Everything about him is his performance. You know, he just got it. No picky uppy points at all, then? Were you all blissfully happy with everything? Only one. Only one. Oh. Stop the silly moves. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh. Well, you know. Oh, just as I was going to get him to show me them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we love them. Jason Isaacs. Thank you. So, the standard set and our remaining crooners, Alexander, Attila and Justina, are nervously waiting backstage. They'll be singing for your votes next. We'll be back soon. <laughs> revealing which one of these singers you voted the people's crooner. She never bothers with those people that she'd hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. You make me feel so young. You make me feel there are songs to be sung, bells to be rung. I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head? All of me, can't you see? I'm no good without you. Please welcome back our judges, Bob Lewis, Gary Grant and Pete Waterman and our four finalists. Jason Isaacs from Newcastle, Alexander Stewart from Manchester, Attila Hussain from London, and Justina Rose from Warwickshire. <laughs> well, you at home have been voting throughout the show for the singer. You want to be crowned the people's crooner. Only one of you can win that all-important record contract with Decca and the chance to record at the world-famous Abbey Road Studios. In addition, there's another prize. You also get to appear on the new album by our big band, the Royal Air Force Squadronaires, and it's out on June the 7th. So, lots of opportunities for one of you to become a fully-fledged recording artist. Judges, the public votes in. I don't yet know what it is, but I want to know who you would have made the winner, Tom. Well, there were two exceptional people. If I had to, had to, had to choose, I'd say Alexander. Alexander from you. Carrie. Uh, two exceptional people, I agree. Jason and Alexander. My choice would be Alexander. Two for Alexander. Pete? Oh, this is really weird, this. Because I thought they were going to go for Jason. Yeah. I'm going to go for Alexander, too. All right, all three Alexander as well. It's the moment of truth. Jason Isaacs, you sang Lady is a Tramp. Alexander Stewart, you sang You Make Me Feel So Young. Attila Hussain, you sang Ain't That a Kick in the Head. And Justina Rose, you sang All of Me. The winner of the People's Crooner 2010 is... It was very close with 51% of the vote. It's Jason Isaacs. <laughs> Hello. Uh, How do you feel? Uh, shocked. Fantastic. Fantastic. Are you surprised? I am surprised, yeah. But you but enjoyed it. Enough to carry on doing it. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Can we do another... No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, can you work with this man? <laughs> you know the difficulty of having chosen somebody else. I, and he's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that one through, but... Well, 51% though is pretty close, so the others did absolutely very well. Fantastic. Well. Carrie, Thank good you. verdict. Yeah, that's a landslide. 51% means the other three only got 49 between them. So that's amazing. Well done. Okay. There we go. Pete? Yeah, great. Yeah, You're very happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I think it's wonderful. It's, it's just. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I wish you incredibly well. Thank you very much. Very well done. Congratulations to all of the three. Congratulations to our winner, Jason Isaacs. I can now tell you that the winning single, which Jason's recording at Abbey Road next week, will be his version of the Nat Kill King Cole classic. Let's face the music and dance. It's out to download on Monday the 29th of March. Have you done it before? I've never sang that song, but I love it, though. I love the song. Nat you Kill want to change your verdict now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling you'll be learning it, and then Jason will also be back to perform it right here on the AT show. We look forward to that. My thanks and commiserations to three other great finalists, to our judges, Tom Lewis, Cary Grant and Pete Waterman, and, of course, our resident big band for the day, the Royal Air Force Squadronaires. Thank you, guys. <laughs> What a day, what a day. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow... <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of Monday's AT Show. Still Ed, comedy actor and star of stage and screen, Sanjeev Bhaskar's here. 
But now there were 3,000 entrants and only one winner. Twelve weeks ago, in the first heat of the People's Crooner, Jason wowed the judges with his relaxed and humorous style. That was superb. Yes. I mean, that was superb. The competition in the final was tough, but Jason came up trumps with The Lady is a Tramp. That's why the lady is a tramp. The winner of The People's Crooner is Jason Isaacs. <laughs> Abbey Road Studios. Home to John, Paul, George, Ringo, and now Jason. Two weeks ago, he arrived to record his debut single. It didn't take him long to find his feet. Let's finish the music and dance. Please welcome your people's crooner, Jason Isaacs. <laughs> this is it's so wonderful to come over here. To introduce you without any competitors, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can, you know, what's the reaction been to you winning? Oh, it's been it's been a whirlwind. It's been fantastic. Great reaction. Um, I didn't get a chance to say, but I want to thank everybody who voted for me. Um, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Well, did you enjoy fun. Abbey Road? Oh, you, it was magic, so exciting. The, the people that have been in Abbey Road, obviously the legends, the Beatles, yeah. Pink Floyd. It's it's a fantastic place. Well, your single is launched today. As mm -hmm. they always say to the people, as you know. How do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah. It's it's a bit of it's a it's been a whirlwind. It's a dream. It's been fun as well though. So I'm yeah. just enjoying the ride. Yeah, yeah. I w obviously, I want people to to download the single, get it in the charts, and keep we'll, keep the ball rolling. We'll do our best. <laughs> we'll find out what we're going to download. Without further ado, performing his debut single, "Let's Face the Music and Dance." It's your winner, Jason Isaacs. Yeah.